Hey there, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning visitor, well, we've had a fun day, haven't we? Oh, yes, we have. We had Crafty Michelle's spectacular Halloween with my scary clown, and it's going to get scarier, folks. And we also had We Wishes, and we had our contest. We had a lot going on today. It was such a fun day. Such a fun day. I didn't get to make much today. My dog had to go back to the hospital. And she's still suffering. But we are working our way through it. And many of you texted me and wrote to me and messaged me. And I did catch up on most of my comments tonight. And I thank each and every one of you. Thank you for your well wishes. I'm doing my best to keep her safe and comfortable. It's not an easy task right now. But we are doing our best. We are working collectively together as a unit to keep her comfortable and happy. Um, my stomach is still fluttering. Not, I have not adjusted to any of this news yet. And today's visit was not pleasant. It was unpleasant. So thank you for keeping us in your thoughts and your prayers. You know what? Maybe if you're the kind of person that prays, pray that I have strength for this. Because it's going to happen regardless. I just need to find some internal strength. Um, but thank you, because I really appreciate those messages. I really do. I know sometimes like I'm a slow emailer, and I'm a fast texter. But the last two days were very hard with my brother-in-law here because, you know, it, he literally talks from like 7.30 in the morning until midnight. But uh, I'm glad I spent time with him. I miss him when he's not with us. So it was nice. But I also couldn't text or do anything else. So I have now caught up almost, which makes me feel better. But I still have lots of things to take care of this week, folks. We've got prizes to get out. And I've got a few other things to package up. I did make it to the post office today. I did get mail. But you know what it was, folks? You're not going to believe this. So I ordered a bunch of stuff to make for my holy swappers. And one item didn't arrive. I reported it. I reported it. It didn't arrive. So I went ahead and I made everything else. Don't you think the item arrived today? And I'm like, well, that's too late. I think. We'll see. I technically have until the end of this week to mail out, but I was, was hoping to get it in the mail earlier, like tomorrow. But I'll see how in the morning I might I might try to use this item because I ordered it just for Holy Swappers. Um, it's a real shame, but it took that long to get here. That long. Sometimes, you know, Ali takes forever, folks. And when I order rack from there for you guys, I worry that, like, you won't get it for three and a half months. Like, maybe four. Do you know my friend Carmen didn't get something for eight months? Eight months. So, uh, I like Allie because we order our dyes from there and it gives me all that wide range to send you guys product. But folks, there's some of them are so slow. And we're talking about this recent sale. Like the stuff for my, the things I'm making as Christmas gifts for people, I knew what I needed to order. It's like some sequins and some charms because I was a little low on the embellishment box charm department. So I ordered a bunch of charms when they went on sale. And I tried some smaller vendors that had 50% off. And just like I often do, as you know, when there's a sale, I'll try a new vendor, a small vendor, to see how they do. But I put back most of the dyes. I only took a couple because, as I told you, I have most of the dyes I need. And when I go home, I might go to Tuesday morning and find something spectacular. So I was really judicious until I saw Tony's video. And one of the dyes I just couldn't bring myself to order was that Santa bag topper because it was over five bucks and it was from Andy's store and it looked really cute and the Santa alone's almost four bucks so this was with a bag topper but I was like no 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 put it back and then I saw Tony's project and I was like nope you need that die I only have a little bag topper guys one so I mean I do need another bag topper about five dollars I'm like Tony I kind of have a rule I don't like to go for two dollars two fifty from Ali unless I know the vendor now chaos craft their dies work and the material comes to me fast. And Alina, we know their dyes are good, and she stands behind her product, and if there's a problem, she'll replace it. But other than that, I don't like to spend $5. Well, this is Andy's store, and they're pretty reputable. After seeing Tony, Tony, you're an enabler. You're an enabler, not just for Lily. Because I was like, now I need that dye. Now I need that dye. I had already ordered the ice cream before I even saw it on your channel. I ordered it a while ago. In fact, it should be here any minute. I actually thought that may have been what arrived today. It wasn't, but I thought it could be. But I put back that Santa hat, that Santa die, and now I need it, Tony. And how can you say you're a new crafter? If you're a new crafter, Tony, we're all in big trouble. We are in big trouble, Tony, because you make beautiful projects. You make really beautiful projects. And we all love each and every one of your videos. 
And I know sometimes you probably don't, you're probably exhausted. You know, folks, for those of you who don't know, Tony is pregnant. She has children. She's probably exhausted. And she's like, oh, people. But we appreciate every video you post. And your swap, your embellishment box swap was amazing. It was amazing to Really. And next time you do a swap, I am so joining. I just have to make sure I see the video ASAP because I know everyone else wants to join too. I want to thank all of you for watching today. It was so much fun. We did the, all the We Wishes, the Spooktacular Project, and we also did our, our contest and Crafty Kimchi. Talk about how life works out and Dina's boot. How life works out, folks. But we had so many great entries. All of them brought their A-plus game. Every single entry was an A-plus effort. And it's because of that that it was so neck and neck. Because there were so many beautiful creations. And that's thanks to each of you. You put so much effort in. I'm so grateful to you guys. I really am. You know, our next challenge is my birthday challenge. It's a card or a rosette that I can put in my box. And they're worth equal points because I don't want people wasting money on postage. Um, Cruz already granted my birthday wish. I cannot believe, I knew I shouldn't put it on the video. In my head, I was like, don't say it out loud. But Dina was like, hey, make sure to let us know what your birthday wishes are. So I was like, okay, they're Teflon coated scissors. Should have known. Cruz, she's so fast. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, Cruz. I'm very excited, actually. Because seriously, Judy, you save me every night. My scrapbook loft saves me every night. Guys, if you've not tried her hack, oh, let me tell you something, Judy. I had EC6000 all over in one pair of my scissors. Your hack saved my scissors. So, guys, Judy's hack works. But I'm using it every night. Because, you know, as soon as I do packaging up of 12 racks, my scissors are gummy. So I, I need Teflon-coated scissors. This messy maker needs Teflon-coated scissors. I'm so excited for you to see the next project on the Halloween collab because it's way different than an altered picture frame. I tried to do everything new. That's why I did so much prototyping. And we'll see what you guys think. It was so much fun to do this. I cannot wait to do Heather's too. I'm telling you, I'm loving Halloween. Loving it. And it's only possible because all of you sent me supplies. Thank you very much. Because I wouldn't be able to do this without you. It would be impossible. You'll, you're going to see in every video, I'm like, this came from this person. It, it's true. Everything I have came from somebody. So thank you. Thank you very much. I want to talk a little bit about We Wishes before I say goodnight. So our next one is sponsored by Lily Crafting with Lily. Incredibly generous lady. If you're not subscribing to her, you are missing out. And I don't mean about her generosity. I mean about her projects. Her recent shaker bag toppers are... All I'm going to say is I'm stealing it and crediting her with the design. Phenomenal. You better go check that out, folks. I'm putting that link below, but it's her Halloween embellishments. The link will be down below. Check it out if you haven't already. Wholly inspired by this project. Not only I'm not going to give it away. I'm not telling you any more than you, you will love these shaker bag toppers. But it's not the only thing you're going to love. Nope. Uh, how many of you are doing October Daily? I'm thinking about doing it. I went and did a little binge watching after I caught up on your videos to see how people did it. And I'm not an album girl, but I am a book girl, as you know. So I think I'm going to make me a Halloween book for October Daily. Now, I think I have enough leftover from scraps to make a small book for an October Daily, but I will check because it seems people are prepping for the October Daily now and then they'll decorate it every day in a small video. And I think that's a lot of fun to do. And then you sort of keep track of your October. It seems like a lot of fun. So I'm thinking I'll do that. And I'm trying to decide, you know, do I do that live or just do I just do a video? I haven't decided. I'll figure that out as time goes on. But I hope you guys are thinking about doing your October Daily. And if you are, let me know. What are you going to do? Are you going to do an album? Are you going to do a mini album? You, what are you thinking about doing? A Traveler's Notebook? Junk Journal? Junk Journal, anyone? I like junk journals a lot. I haven't learned how to make one yet, but I like them. So I may eventually learn how to make one. What I made for Dina is not exactly a junk journal. It's I wanted to make her a junk journal, but I haven't learned how to do that yet, so I made her something different. Similar, though. Very similar. I have uh, had a very full day. It's been a lot of fun. I'll tell you, a lot of fun. And I will be back on tomorrow. I just wanted to come and say thank you, y'all, and happy Sunday, because where you are, most of you, it's still Sunday. If you're in the UK, well, no, it's almost not Sunday anymore. And here it's already Monday. I wish 
everyone to be safe. Those of us uh, who, have, who are in the South, I'm still concerned. Those in the Carolinas, Jelly Bean Junction, I am very concerned. Please, and Margaret, I know you stocked up on water and supplies, but you are in my thoughts every second. Please, Rosita, be careful. Carmen Goris, be careful. And our hearts are with everybody, right? Hurricanes affect everybody, but especially those in their pathway. All right, folks. I'm wishing each of you an amazing rest of your day. Do something creative, folks. Or watch a video that inspires you. Thanks so much again for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.